So hello everyone, welcome back to Family Good Life. Thank you so much for joining us. Please, if this is your first time, you're welcome to our community. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for growing this community. I really appreciate and I do not take your love for granted. Once again, this is Family Good Life where we talk about beauty tips and healthy living lifestyle and we do a lot of product reviews so today i'll be talking about how to get rid of hyperpigmentation and discoloration on your knees and knuckles using two very very simple but very effective products so if you're interested please do stick around so that you can learn from this video as usual, I'll be very brief and straight to the point. So today, we'll be talking about something that is very, very common. Dark knees. For those of us who kneel down in church or are used to kneeling down at home or at school back in the days. Or those that naturally have dark knees. And know this is a challenge. Most times when you put on your shirt, shorts or when you put on your dresses... It gives this vibe of hyperpigmentation. It makes your skin look uneven and ashy and dull. If you have this problem, please stick around as I'll be reviewing two very, very effective products. So that needs most times some happen naturally um, and some are as a result of abrasions and force or when that part comes with harsh surfaces. Dark um, knuckles as well can be as a result of um, the use of harsh chemicals or harsh products on the skin or even detergents and soaps or sodas or soaps that are very harsh on the skin. Some also have it as genetic. Some people have it genetically and then some people acquire it as a result of using harsh products which could be lotions or soaps or detergents there are some sodas that you can use in doing your dishes that can also cause dark knuckles as well we all know that dark knuckles are very unsightly anybody that sees dark knuckles the first thing that will come to the person's mind is oh this person is bleaching oh oh how terrible how unrefined how on classy can this be you know it looks very classless so i'll be reviewing the amlactane daily lactic acid this lactic acid is very good for exfoliation so the first step is to actually exfoliate those um, rough and dry skin we know that knuckles and um, dark knuckles and dark knees as a result of hyperpigmentation and lactic acid is very very effective when it comes to treating dark knuckles and dark knees i'll advise you use these products at night please when you are treating your dark knees and dark knuckles, use it at night. If you are so bent on using it during the day, you would need a very, very high or heavy amount of sunscreen. You know why? Because lactic acid and the other products I'm going to be telling you, which is stretinoid, they do not go well with the sun. It makes you susceptible to sunburn. So I'd advise you to do this treatment at night. You can do it at night. And it's very, very good. This amlactin is dermatologically recommended. It um, contains 12% lactic acid and it's for uneven skin, dry, rough skin, hyperpigmentation. So it's going to actually exfoliate those dark areas. It's going to actually exfoliate those dark parts. I am a lover of amlactin. I mean, the first time I got amlactin, I liked it. It's very, very big. It came in a 567 gram bottle. And you can see it was very very big and it had a very easy pump it was very very easy to use i liked it because it gave me very deep moisturization like it made my um, skin so soft so nice it made it very moisturized i have not i think i'll drank this my best moisturizer so i went ahead to use it on my face the first time I got it and I broke out so if you have an oily or sensitive skin please do not come use amlactin on your face it's not for the face just for people who are trying to be overzealous like me this product is not for your face so I'll be going through the contents you can see it contains ammonium lactate mineral oil glycerine dimethicone sterile potassium sorbate 
and it's very very nice it says apply twice daily as directed um if you're using this on sensitive skin or broken skin just like i used tried it on my face it will break you out and it will increase your sensitivity so that's why i say if you're using it to treat dark knuckles or hyperpigmentation please use this product at night so it's very very amazing you begin to read um um notice very gentle exfoliation your outer layer of the skin will begin to shed gradually however you have to be very very patient with this product you have to be very very patient with this product you, you are going to see results in three to four weeks you know three to four weeks so but in the meantime your skin will be very moisturized and those parts will become softer you know they become softer they become um, less rough so those rough knees and those your rough knuckles will become less rough it won't be as rough as it used to be this product is also fragrance free and paraben free which is a plus for me so i'll be going over to the second product that you'll be adding to this or using with this so the second product is the annoying gel it comes in the gel and it comes in a cream i would advise that you use from 0.05 percent upwards there's 0.05 percent i would there's also one percent but i would advise you start with the 0.05 percent start with lesser percentage and if you see that your skin is not overly sensitive or is not stinging or reacting to 0.05 you can upgrade to one percent this product actually comes in um gel form and it also comes in cream form they are both very active what matters is the percentage you are using but they are both very active whether using the cream or whether using the gel they are very active so you can use any of those then this um, product like i said you use two of them together so after using your amlactin you can top it up with your so this is the cream the first one i showed you was the gel the second one is the cream i actually prefer the cream because the gel can be um it doesn't really go a long way the gel you know how gels are so you may just apply it and you still be feeling like you haven't used anything so i don't know for some reason i kind of prefer the cream because i just felt felt like i was rubbing something when i used the cream so this is this you have very um other derivatives you have various brands this is if it's annoying it's very good like i said and it would also help to um exfoliate it's very good for wrinkles for fine lines for dark um, marks dark circles it's also very very good for hyperpigmentation so you can see that it's a very very great product it's very very amazing it's actually a retinoid you know it's like you know retin a but more you know um active form of retinol or uh, retinoid rather it's um very good like i said for fine lines for wrinkles for improving skin texture people can also use retinoid for their faces for those who have acne you may want to start with a lesser percentage this is also a lesser percentage this is 0 0.025 for those who have hyperpigmentation on their face you can actually use this one for your face 0.025 percentage you can use it for hyperpigmentation on the face so how is this product used after using your amlactin on the affected areas top it all by using your tretinoin cream on it and if you want it to work faster you can just seal it up with a mild oil like almond oil or psbb oil so after um two months this was the result i got you can see how the knee is right now so those black marks we're not there anymore but this thing takes a lot of patience like i said you have to be ready to consistently use it for about one to two months before you see remarkable and tremendous results if you know you are impatient please do not go near this product and start disturbing me and saying femz femz you said this product was going to work the only downside is that they are quite pricey but they do the job i tell you you're not going to even use half you're not going to even go halfway into using the product before you begin to see results you will see results but like i said if you want to really get good value you have to really spend value as well so the downside is that the um, products are a little bit pricey they're on the high side but like i said they do the job so initially you can see when i was trying um 
a various products you can see those corners you can see those corners you can see the hyperpigmentation so this was how it looks like you know as a person who is into cosmetics and who sells cosmetics so most times i always have the temptation to try a new product so i started trying a new product i think it was um was it the one very very weird product like that i think it was x7 i think it was a dark one or you know the very very strong one and look at what it did to my skin it was appalling i mean i could not believe it so this was how it was before i commenced my tretinoin and amlactin journey so this was how it looked like initially before it evened out so like i said you really have to be patient so you can see gradually very gradually but surely slowly but surely it does the job so like i said you give it time give it two to three months and it will help you get rid of hyperpigmentation on your knees your elbows your knuckles and your dark feet so please do let me know your reviews or your questions in the comment section and i'll be glad to answer you thank you once again for joining me today once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do also subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a video. Thank you so much. I love you all, my besties.